What's up everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again. It is the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if I'm looking at that sign, I hate to say that it's definitely getting a little cooler here in the uh, Northeast, especially in New York City. Uh, I woke up and it was a whopping 55 degrees. Now, it's not seem like it's a lot, but when you have a uh, 15 degree temperature change in the last two weeks, you know, go figure. But that basically means that it's, uh, you know, the garage sale season, yard sale season. Around this area is starting to wind down, so it could go either two ways. It could go really, really busy uh, the next couple weeks uh, prior to October, or it's basically just going to die down. Uh, I'm not really sure, because this would be like the first full year I've been really going hardcore, being selective at certain spots. But, as we see right here, there's actually a yard sale going on. Uh, you can see there's some Legos, and that's actually where I'm heading to right now. So, without further ado, uh, time to turn on the iPhone. Let's see what we find, and we'll be right back. Just heading over to the bus, everybody, and okay, something you don't see every day here. This part of the area, it's got some, I guess, used games here. Uh, so far, halfway decent ones I see here are Mario Kart Wii and uh, Tom Clancy's Hawk X2 or Hawks 2. Got some 3DS stuff, and probably two of the halfway more decent games here: Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Land. Ultimate Alliance 2, uh, Outlaw Volleyball. And who would have thought you'd see this over at a direct deposit check cash? Anyway, people, uh, change of plans. I was heading over to the second yard sale and I saw something else that seemed a little bit more appealing. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction to this place. And uh, hopefully, we'll see something worth uh, showing. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll go to that next clip, and let me just get over to the bus here. Hopefully I didn't miss it. And... No, I didn't, but yeah. Uh, the last score was decent. Got a few games, I'll show you that in a minute. I'll talk more about that uh, before we get over to the next yard sale, and we'll be right back. Um, Okay, we were. Okay, we were. Okay, you get the white mouse, you get the keyboard. Just keep it on. Oh, sorry. Can you carry that too? Yeah. Okay, stop me. Yep. 
Note to self, when you are on the bus, pay attention where you get off because you're going to get off at the wrong stop like I just did. Uh, I had to backtrack over to this third yard sale here. And the last clip you saw, he had a couple of computer items. He, was, he had a uh, G5 Power Mac. He was asking 200 for it and wasn't biting. He actually had an old PC compact when he was asking 25 for it. Uh, but he also had an Xbox 360. Even though it said 4 gigabyte on it, he actually upgraded it to, um, I believe it was 250 gigs. Uh, the two games you saw there, one wasn't really that great. The other was not so bad. But he was asking about 150 for it. And, you know, it's not a bad price. I wouldn't mind seeing it go maybe like another $20 to $30 down. But hey, that's just me. It's a yard sale, not a thrift store or a, you know, retail store. Anyway, so I'm kind of just looking over the last yard sale right now. So hopefully I could get some footage. Might be a little dodgy because there's quite a few people, a lot of families there. So I got to be careful, you know, with the phone. Um... You know, and we'll be back in a minute. Hopefully we'll find something good for a decent price, maybe. Who knows? See you in a second. I do have to admit today, everybody, Queens is treated to be really, really good. Yep, um, that last clip there was very reasonable, surprisingly. Uh, sorry if you heard a lot of the kids in the background, of course, you know, it's a garage sale. Uh, they had a not a bad selection of Wii games, surprisingly. Uh, they were basically asking $2 for every title, which wasn't bad. So especially if you're collecting, you know, for the Wii, of course, now Wii is starting to be one of those uh, in-demand consoles that people are really in demand for next to the GameCube. Uh, it's actually not that bad. They were asking, I said, $2. And, of course, uh, uh, Wii Punch Out or Punch Out for the Wii. Not a bad title there for $2. Uh, but I did get something, like I said, at the end of this video, I'll show you what I picked up. Something I can use for uh, one of my uh, pieces of my collection. And without further ado, I did see one more yard sale as I was uh, actually getting ready to go back home. And we're going to check that one out, hopefully find something. Uh, so far, for the money I have, for what I spent, for the amount of stuff I got, you know, not a bad score. So uh, let's check out this last place and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get clips of that and we will be right back. I will say this, and granted, it might not be nice what I'm about to say, but I'm going to speak my mind. Uh, you know, the husband there, he was really nice. You know, uh, I didn't really ask him, you know, how much he wanted for the games. Granted, it was maybe, what, Roller Coaster Tycoon that was even halfway decently, you know, something I would want to grab. And, of course, the rest of his stuff, you know, he had a lot of junk, doodads. There was one thing there I did honestly want to grab, just as a goof. Uh, if you guys and gals have seen it out there, it's one of those uh, 
cell phone attachments. It's like an old style phone, like you know, from the old days. Uh, they were asking three bucks for it. I literally only had two dollars up to my name. So, you know, I uh, offered the two for that, and of course the wife comes out being a ball buster with me. Nah, you know, you know what they're worth. They're worth about nine dollars. And that honestly just turned me off. Like, you know, I can understand it's your yard sale, but you don't necessarily have to be a snotty, you know, you know what about it. So basically, just put it down, walked away from it, have a nice day, and I walked away from it. I wasn't going to let her ruin the rest of my day. But uh, yeah, that's about it, people. So we're going to head back to the game room, and I'll show you some of the stuff I got. Like I said, not a great haul, but not a bad one either. I wanted to get stuff that I wanted, so, sorry, just trying to look and see where the hell the bus is to get back to uh, my house. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, let's head back to the game room, and let's, let me show you what I got. So I'm back in the game room, everybody. So let me show you, and you, and all of you back there, what I got here. So, it's a little bag of goodies I got here, so I'm just going to dig through it real quick now the first yard sale which i showed you had quite a few uh super nintendo games xbox 360 some ps2 stuff uh gamecube so on and so forth now i'm not sure if i mentioned this when i left uh talking about it in that one clip but the lady kept bringing out more stuff and more stuff but it was more new gen stuff now she did tell me there's gonna be a humongous and i mean a humongous community yard sale in a couple of weeks so I'm definitely going to be looking in the papers down the internet for that. So hopefully that's something I could definitely uh, show you, you guys and gals out there. But let me show you what I got for a whopping. I'll tell you this in the end. Uh, one, two, three, four games. Uh, four games here. And I got it for eight bucks. And first off here is Wabbit. That's right, Wabbit. Uh... Remember seeing a television dude do a drunken gameplay of this, and I was peed myself laughing. It was freaking funny. Uh, it's not a bad game, actually. Uh, this is made by Apollo, and I believe this came out in 82. Now, <clears throat> see here. Uh, it's a two-disc game here that I saw from the GameCube, and that is Freaky Flyers. Now, this originally, if you saw, had the Blockbuster sticker on it, and I took that off. Now, I wasn't so fortunate to get this crap off here, and I don't know why Blockbuster did this, but I can see why they're out of business. So, anyway, uh, both discs are here. There's no manual, but um, I checked the disc. There's a couple of scratches on it. Hopefully, you'll play, so you figure, you know, the games they got here, they're like two bucks a pop. Can't beat that. Uh, next up here, and I actually do have a loose copy. If I could find it, I'll put that up for trade, but I wanted to keep this one. And that is Championship Pro-Am for the Sega Genesis. And you can see here, it is complete with the cartridge. Now, uh, this one got decapitated. Uh, the wee little Winky got a circumcision. And next off here, people, was Alien 3. It's a you know, halfway decent platforming shooter. And this one is complete. So yeah, 8 bucks. Can't beat that. I uh, went to one of the other yard sales here. Um, as I said before, the guy had a bunch of uh, doodads. Uh, stuff I wasn't really interested in. It was the price he, this was left behind. I grabbed this for a buck. And that is a Nintendo Wiimote, which I'm going to show you why I'm going to be using this in a future video. And last off, people, I uh, saw this. If you saw this in the clip, uh, this is uh, a you know case for the... Sony PSP, show you right there, that's where it would go, and uh, they wanted three bucks, I really literally was down to my last dollar, and they took it, so that's about it people, thank you so much for watching, and definitely be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter, because depending, nine times out of ten, I actually do post my finds on there before I do the videos, just to kind of show what I got out there, but I know not everyone is on both social networks, so... But once again, thank you for taking the patience and watching all the footage I shot. And that's about it. Have a good weekend, everybody. I will have more to follow in the coming weeks. I definitely will have some more stuff. If you've seen the Silver Ball Museum uh, video I did a few days ago, I actually did, did, <laughs> did, bleh. I did quite a bit of editing. 
Uh, it's definitely four parts to the tour and random gameplays of some unique pinball machines that they have there. And, you know, definitely look forward to putting that stuff out for all of you out there who enjoy more pinball stuff. And that's about it. Take care, everybody. Cheers.